So we'll have those new details in just a moment. But first, investigators are getting closer to figuring out who made threatening calls against schools across the nation, including two. But one local lawmaker says a bill she introduced last year could have helped stop it from happening in the first place. 23 ABC's Jessica Harrington is live at the BPD now with what Senator Gene Fuller is saying and why the governor rejected the bill last year. Jessica? Well, Jackie, I caught up today with state Senate Republican leader Gene Fuller, who is passionate about preventing cases like we saw in Bakersfield and across America this week. As a former school superintendent, I know you sort of have to catch people and give them some consequences and make people understand it's not a joke and, and it isn't just a free day off. It hurts everybody in the community. The bill aimed at making it a misdemeanor for anyone threatening lawful violence to another person on a school campus. When I had to deal with bomb threats, um, I, you know, I felt very worried about all of the students, all the parents, and all of the teachers, and just worried about our society that this would become prevalent. The Bakersfield Police Department was among the law enforcement that fully supported the bill. Yeah, you know what's important about that bill is it was school specific. It encompassed threats and digital threats, you know, by electronic means, but it also gave us the power to arrest somebody if the threat was made against a school or school children. The bill made it all the way to Governor Jerry Brown's desk, but he vetoed it. 23 ABC News obtained the governor's veto notes in which he sympathizes with Fuller's sentiment, but says the state's criminal code already covers the offense. However, Senator Fuller doesn't agree. If the law does cover these kinds of things. Obviously, our practitioners who work in the field every single day uh, haven't found a way to be able to use them. Senator Fuller says she is considering reintroducing the bill. She reached out to Governor Brown's office to see if there's a way to tailor the bill so it won't be vetoed again, but she says she hasn't heard back. As you see, uh, the incidents are still happening across the nation, and it's becoming um, an even bigger issue uh, way beyond Bakersfield. As for the investigation into the caller who put several schools on lockdown here in Bakersfield and across the country this week, BPD says they've learned the 661 number was from Skype. They say they're now trying to work with Skype to identify who placed that call and to see whether or not all of the calls were connected. Reporting live in downtown Bakersfield, Jessica Harrington, 23 ABC.